The reasons that people give up their compulsive use of psychoactive drugs vary, but they almost always include survival. It's gotten progressively worse. Um, you know, as I've gotten older, uh, medical problems. When addicts decide to stop using their drug of choice or favorite compulsive behavior and enter treatment, they go through four phases. Detoxification, initial abstinence, long-term abstinence, and recovery. You know, I had no intention of being sober for good. But after a few months, it just, it worked. The main obstacle to any stage of treatment is relapse. And since cravings lead to a slip, which leads to a relapse, learning how to control cravings is crucial for recovery. Craving is caused by the sight, smell, or taste of the drug itself, a using partner, a place where the drug was used, and most any memory of one's drug using career. Memories are imprinted on the dendrites of nerve cells. Dendrites are tiny fibers that receive messages from other nerve cells. Memories are retained as tiny bumps, known as dendritic spines. These protrusions grow when stimulated by a sensory input. If the input is important, the dendritic spines, and therefore the memory, becomes permanent. The more it is used, the more permanent it becomes. Now growing up, many people drank alcohol, used other psychoactive drugs, or engaged in compulsive behaviors and have thousands of memory bumps of how, when, and where they used and the feelings those activities triggered. By the time I was 11, I was looking for something outside of myself because I didn't, couldn't live within myself. I was really um, depressed. I was actually suicidal. I uh, remember suicide feelings at 10 years old. And I, um, at that point, started to uh, drink alcohol. Since these addictive drugs and compulsive behaviors are psychoactive and work on the survival brain, particularly the reward reinforcement circuit, they have an exaggerated influence on the dendrites. The memory bumps grow in number and in size until they become permanent influences on one's behavior. Can addiction memories be erased? Can stop and go switches be repaired? The fact is, most memory bumps are permanent and can't be changed. They are with us for a lifetime. But what can be changed is the strength of the connections from one bump to another. Strong memory bump connections encourage compulsive drug use and behaviors. Weak ones encourage recovery. This time I was, I was done. I mean, I, I couldn't take any more. I couldn't put any more bad memories inside my head. And I figured, well, let me just give this a try and let's see how it works out. And for the last 18 months, I've been sober. Any response to a craving should be automatic because craving arises in the old emotional brain, which is more powerful and reacts faster than the new thinking brain. Relapse isn't really that much about willpower. It's about what has happened to the brain with addiction. The brain, with its memory spines, becomes hypersensitive to drug triggers, and those drug triggers can lead to slips, and slips can lead to relapse. To better understand this hypersensitivity, maybe it's useful to think of it sort of like an allergy, uh, say like an allergy to a bee sting. If someone with that allergy gets stung, they react, they swell up, and they can't breathe. It doesn't matter if they are moral or immoral, sane or insane. They will react badly. Their life will be threatened. A similar life-threatening reaction happens with an addict. Allergy, I, I don't know what you want to call it. Allergy, poison, whatever it is, it just don't work for me. That's all I know. The main difference between the two allergies is that people who are allergic to bees don't play near a beehive. This is because their memories only consist of the bad things that happened to them when they got stung. Whereas with addictions, they have good memories as well as bad memories. So even if addicts' lives are in shambles, they still have a strong tendency to recall the good memories first, which then trigger the reward pathway, 
and lead to relapse. If I ever pick up a drink, I know exactly where that drink will take me to. It doesn't matter whether it's a beer or a near beer or whatever it is, it will take me to the same spot. You know, and it took me a long time to realize that. 